Spatchcock Funk here, thanks to Loretto who's sponsoring this. Now Loretto knows how to take care of people, so do we. We like to cook, they like to care for others, right? They're the safety net provider in Onondaga County, meaning no matter how much money your family has or where you come from, you can find a place there. Meanwhile, almost everybody that works there works extra hours and loves to be there. So they do that because they get people engaged and we're gonna make a dish that's gonna get you engaged too. The dish we're gonna engage with right now is American goulash, not Hungarian goulash. That's actually more of a stew-based dish, but it's still pretty good. This though, we're getting from a fan of the shows, a friend of the shows, Jim Archie McGillis. Now this man passed away recently, and what we learned from his grandson, Michael, who reached out to us, that as he had gotten older, he stopped cooking. He just didn't feel up to it anymore, and he started watching the show again and decided, you know what, I'm gonna cook again, and he made his family goulash. So we're gonna do this in honor of him and use his style, which basically is a must-go goulash. Everything in your fridge, must go. Let's put it in there. First, we're gonna start with two or three tablespoons of a really good olive oil. Then we're gonna put in one whole white onion. We're gonna get that stirred up in the oil. Then we're gonna add in one coarsely chopped green bell pepper. As these veggies get comfy, let's talk about Loretto where things get comfy too. They got over 900 nursing home beds and two large facilities in Syracuse and Auburn and a small one here at the Nottingham too. No better way to live like our homegirl Loretta. Now we've got the onions, peppers going. We're gonna put in actually four cloves of black garlic. Now black garlic is a little milder, sweeter than regular garlic. It's been fermented for a month. So we're gonna use that because we love it and we had it left over in our fridge. Now Jim was a veteran, the US Navy, and he was a strong man. So what we're gonna use is 92% lean ground beef, two pounds of it. Put it in here, break it up, and keep stirring it until it's brown. Now, you know our girl Loretta likes to drink her tea. This goulash is gonna drink three cups of water right now, because we're gonna use this, and we're gonna actually use this water to get our pasta absorbed. So we're gonna put in that. We're gonna put in two 15 ounce cans of tomato sauce. One and a half tablespoons soy sauce. One tablespoon of seasoned salt. Two tablespoons of Italian seasoning. Then we're gonna add in three bay leaves. Then we're gonna add in about a pound to a pound and a half of chopped plum tomatoes. So stir that up and bring that to a simmer. Now, once it's simmered for like five minutes, turn the heat down to medium, and we're gonna add in one pound of elbow macaroni. One LB, one elbow of elbow macaroni. We're gonna slowly stir it in and then cook it according to the directions in the box. This one's gonna go around seven, eight minutes. Now we've got the goulash ready. We've took our bay leaves out and we are ready to start serving it. This dish in Loretto treat you right and people you love right too. We combine two cheeses to put on top. The way Loretto combines great people and incredible facilities to make life better. Here a little bit of parsley, just for some color. We give it a couple stirs. For meals you can take care of others, take care of your people. Thanks to Mr. McGillis, thanks to Loretto, thanks to you, Spatchcock Funk. Thanks for watching. You want more dope drinks, strong cocktails, killer stories, great parties? Subscribe now, Spatchcock Funk.